September 7th, 3.11pm, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Well, hello! I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dank place as this. It's really quite moving. Not, you stinking lawyer! I hope you die! Have you come to laugh? Yes! Laugh at the fool and miss me! No, not really. Something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there's nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you done enough questioning, you spiky head? Here we go again. Please, you're scaring the security guard. So, what is it you wish to ask me then? Hmm? Starters, how did you get me so totally whacked? I don't know, man, but, um. Hey, Gardington, how's it going? This guard moved the visitor's room. He hasn't moved an inch. Real pro, this guy. Maybe he just doesn't get to see a lot of women like Miss May in here. Ah, 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 ah. Well, come on, May. Let's, let's have a little chat. That, uh. Ooh, that man. Not the man who stayed with you in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Joes. I know it's Jose, but just like... I imagine her actually saying that. Like, okay, yeah, I know it's Jose before you get on my case about that. But I don't know, she just seems like the kind of person who would say, No way, Joes. Or Jossie, I guess that would be. Ugh. Hmm. Maybe if I had something to get her to talk. Why don't you play the wiretap on Mia's phone? Oh, when you say it like that, it sounds so cold. So criminal. Um, having people's phones is a crime, Miss May. Oh, and I suppose you learned that in lawyer school, hmm? Creep. Uh, what? This woman is impossible to talk to. I. I highly agree. Wait, what? I just love a good cut. Say, why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Oh, that does it, bottom feeling scum sucking lawyer. Bottom? Can't tell. Does she have things against lawyers? Just against me. Hard to tell, Phoenix. Also, miss, just, uh, so we're completely on the same page. You wanna see my badge? Hey, guess what? Actually, I, um, really hate your guts. So, get lost, because, well, um, I'm not cooperating. Thanks, I noticed. God damn it, woman. Okay. Uh. Yeah, let's go to Fane Co. Law Offices. We should talk to a good old plant boy back here. Looks like forensics is taking the day off today. Detective Gumshoe is nowhere in sight. Police really gave this place a working over. I doubt there are any valuable clues left. Suppose it can't hurt to take a look around though. Yeah, always take a good look at the good old plant. Mia's favourite potted plant. I guess I'll have to water it now. Yeah, well... It's okay. Phoenix. Let's go to Gate Wider Hotel. Oh, I've got to get my voices back in order. <clears throat> ah, welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I dare say so myself. Oh, um, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only help the Gate Waters rep, as they say. Huh? Rep? Yes, our reputation was swell as the hotel where the murderer used a wiretap. We can charge a premium for the room, of course. It would be great for business, sir. Uh... Whoa, whoa! Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. I, too, will become famous. The bellboy who brought the murderer iced coffee. Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? So, you are our honoured guest. Please let me know if there is anything I can bring you. Well, sir, uh, you can bring me a fine order of look at my badge. I'm sorry. All I could think about during the trial was the hotel. I wasn't paying much attention to the evidence. That's not evidence. It's just my badge. Please, sir. About Miss May. 
Oh, her? Sir, not to boast, but I knew the moment I saw her. She'd do it, I said. Do what? I'm starting to think the most suspicious person here is this guy. Yeah, well... I wanted to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. Ah, yes. He stuck me as a real lady, Colonel, if you'll pardon the expression. I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I have the same ink. We both carry the scent of... Danger. There we are in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. If you had a photo of that man, I'm quite sure I could identify him. A photo. Hmm. Good stuff. The hotel. Could you tell me about this hotel? Absolutely. And on that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known as the Gatewater. I propose that we add a subtitle. A subtitle? The Gatewater Hotel. Murder Manor. Well, what do you think? Uh, sounds great! Whatever floats your tea, sir. Ah, well, you are a real help, sir. Uh, let's go to the Grossburg Law Offices. September 7th, Grossburg Law Offices. Huh. Looks like Grossburg's out today. Again. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason. Can't imagine why. Does that have something to do with this huge, like... A really badly painted wall. Wait a second. Wasn't there a giant painting hanging on that wall? Yeah. Yeah, it was a painting of... I don't know, like a fisherman or something? What's that? It wasn't very, a very memorable painting anyhow. I don't know, man. Like, does it change? Do dialogue options change? No. Uh, well, there's this. What's this? Old photos? There are two lying here. Something's been written in pencil on the backs. DL6 incident. Exhibit A. DL6 incident. Exhibit B. Well, let's take a look at these. Uh, A. It's always good to start with A. Uh, lovely, plain-looking lady right there. I'm sure I've seen this person somewhere. Perhaps I'll borrow this photo. I'm sure no one will miss just one little photo. It might be a valuable clue. I'll take it for now. What could I show this to? There's like one person I could show this to. I'm like not confident they'd even know who it is. I'm gonna go see if I can get anything out of them by showing that to them. You again? Can't you take a hint and stay gone? Hey, the only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. Oh, so it's my fault now. You don't have spiky hair, you also have a spiky heart. That does it. In this case, it's done. I'm shaving my head. Oh, Phoenix, don't do it, bro. Do you have more talk options? That man. Sure, let's just talk. About the man who stayed with you in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? I'm not telling. Look, he's being accused of murder. I don't think you want to be protecting him. Hmm, you have sold out the late Miss Faye to the cops? No. See? <laughs> hmm. Maybe if I had something to get her to talk. Well, I'm gonna show you a picture of this lady. Any thoughts about this photograph? Who's that? Your mother? Looks like I've just been wasting my time. God damn it. All that for a your mum joke. Ugh. Well, hey, so do you know this lady? What about this photo? Well, it's a fine photo, sir. However, the person Miss May was accompanied by was, well, a man. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, so no one knows who this random person is. Well, okay then. Photo lies on the desk. What a charming looking man. He's got a nice butt chin there. Maybe I should switch it with the one I took. Yeah man, swap them. I ain't getting nothing out of the other one. I think I'll swap them. Photograph, add it to the court record. Okay, bellboy, let's do you first this time, mate. Uh... There you go. Take a look at this photo. 
That's him, detective. Um, I'm the lawyer. Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once. You know how it is. No, no I don't. Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss April May. How about I write an affidavit swearing that it's him? An affidavit? This guy's way too excited about this. Yeah, sure, dude, why not? Well, sure, why not? Hey! Yes, I've always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. From henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who spoiled the affidavit. Just hurry up and write it! Yeah, Jesus, dude. Not even Miss May can play dumb to this. Yeah! Take that, April, May. Do you know this man? Have a look at this. Look, I said several times, I'm not telling you... Where did you... Aha! A reaction. This is him, isn't it? What? Who? When? Why? It is him. This is the man who stayed in your hotel room the night of the murder. No. No, that's not right. Nice try, Miss Cooperative. Do you have any proof that it was him? Hmm? Yeah, proof. Show me proof. So close. Oh, what do you know? Could you have a look at this? Actually, what's the description of the affidavit? Describes the man who saved Miss May in the ho Okay, not interesting. What's that? The bellboy's affidavit. He told us everything he saw. He told us about the man you checked in with. He told us who he was. Now I'm getting somewhere. Ease her fears. Push her hard, boys! Is it all or nothing? Time to do a little bluff. No use playing dumb, if indeed that's an act. Ooh, Phoenix! Sick bird, boy! So I'll never say something like that again. If you don't talk, I'm taking this photo to the press. What? Even though he should be a witness to murder, this man is in hiding. I'm sure the press would have a field day with his reputation. Oh, fine. I'll talk. You... You win, lawyer. Yes! Man, that felt good. It's great to be alive! Why are you pumping your fists in the air? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Manly man here. Now, tell me about the man you were with. That man, he's my boss. Red White, the president of the information gathering conglomerate, Blue Corp. Red White? Information gathering? Well, I suppose you could call him a detective agency. Hmm. So this is the man that was with you the night of the murder? I'm... I'm scared to talk. Don't want to end up like her. It's okay. I'll just ask Mr. White himself. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? I'll take that as a yes. Mr. Red White, at last! Finally a lead on this guy. April May couldn't have done it. That leaves him. Time to take action. Discarded the bellboy's affidavit. Well, thank you, Miss May. You've got nothing else to say. So, let's go. Blue Corp! This is a... That, that is a lot of naked men. I must say. And a suspicious... Almost suspiciously shaped trophy at the back right there. Also, why are there so many naked men? I also forgot to read the green bit. What's of the surreal decor? Welcome! Please furnish me with the title of your personage. What the... Your name! What's your name? I was just inquirably asking the title that you go by. Uh, right. Phoenix Wright. Inquirably? Mr. Wright, is it? Right, I see. Splendiferous! Perhaps I have intimidated you with my giantesque vocabulary? Well, Miss May did say she likes men with big vocabularies, so... Yeah, I think you're the guy we're looking for. What is this guy's problem? I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp. You know, corporate expansion official. My business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. So I'm afraid I'm not un uh, used to conversing with the word elite challenge. 
What a fruitcake? Mm, let me guess. You are an attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why would you come to meet me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter. So, what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? Yipes. This guy's arrogance meter is off the scale. You can say that again, Phoenix. Let's have a look. Uh, is he in our profile? Yeah, he is. Also, bellboy. Delivered room service to Miss May at the time of the murder. Also checked her in. And red, white. Jesus, dude. 39. Okay. That's a 16 year age gap. Man, like, when you think of it like that, like, I mean, from the bellboy's perspective, that's like, Jesus, to think when this guy was 16, she was either not born yet or just born. Like, that is scary. An eyewitness, CEO of the Information, Inf information Gathering Company, Blue Corp. Trust me, it's not the last time we'll see a relationship with a weird age gap. Well, first of all, let's examine the room. I'm uh, curious about your naked men statues. Statue of a man holding up the world. A blue corp sign certainly stands out enough. The model for the man is, of course, Mr. White. Truly a work of art, but probably too butatious for you to appreciate, correct? I think it's a little too butatious for just about anyone to appreciate. Yeah, I, I mean, like, I don't know anyone who wants to stare at naked men while in this office. Well, you know, and straight men, at the very least. I'm guessing this is supposed to be a desk? My, my. This is quite the... thing. It is modeled on my body, you see. Well, does it sleek around at you or not? Inspire you? Not in the slightest. Also, painting. Haven't I seen this somewhere? Is this a replica? Ridiculosity! I have no interest in anything but originals. That right there is a bona fide original, worth five million for sure. Mm. Suspicious. Also trophies. An impressive lineup of trophies. Judges special runner-up, best participation. God, whose shelf is this, mine? Judges cooperation award, special good try prize. Hmm, the words judges and special kind of stand out. Also this, what's up? This is the top floor of a 20-story building. The view is quite... presidential. Hmm, cool. Well, sir, do you, uh, want to have a look at my badge? I'm terribly sorry, but that really doesn't seem to concern me at all. But it's my lawyer's badge, man. Why are you going to do this to me? Does everyone just diss my badge? Miss May, uh, wrong voice. Miss May is an employee of Blue Corp, is she not? Correct, she was my secretary. What a shock it was to hear what she has done. What she has done? You mean the wiretap? Indeed, she is paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. She does gather information for us as part of her duties. But I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. It is ineffable that she would do this. Sounds like he's trying to turn this May into a scapegoat. Yeah, what a douche. What a fruity douche. On the night of the murder, you were in Miss April May's hotel room? Without the miss? Who can say? I seldom pay attention to such mundane details such of time and place. My motto is, don't worry, be happy. Isn't that like a reggae song? Isn't the guy who sang that dead? So I'll uh, add plagiarist to that uh, little lineup of your uh, titles, sir. Uh, still, Mr. White, Hotel Bellboy has stated on record that he does remember you very clearly. No matter, Bellboy can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. No, I doubt you'd be capable of doing that. Hey! Shut up! Hmm, he raises a good question, actually. Why didn't prosecution call him as a witness? He should have seen the same thing as April May. Oh, oh, oh. The police and the courts. To me, they are mere toys, playthings for my amusement. Wow, okay. 
What kind of company is Blue Corp anyway? Oh, excellent question. We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future, you might say. We are the future. Sell information? In just ten years, I've built this business up into the grand office you see now. Well, in case you were wondering, Blue Corp is named after the color blue. I, Red White of Blue Corp, as founder and CEO, named it so. And why you are? Because I like the color blue, of course. Um... Y yeah, um... Well, you have a nice blue and black tie, I guess. But I don't know, man, I thought you were more a fan of pink. Like, I know red, white, like, put that together, what does that equal? Pink? But you have, like, purple hair, too? Like, what's that, like a... Yellowy sort of undershirt? I'm not sure if that's an undershirt, it's more like a, well, a polo shirt or something. Fantabulous, is it not? Yeah, absolutely. That painting, sir. Uh, something that's been bothering me. Yes, what might that be? A big painting on the wall over there. It's gorgeous! I've seen it before. You know, I've actually seen that painting before. Oh? Uh, just yesterday, actually. Your point being... My point is simple. Uh, rather, my question is simple. Why is that painting hanging on your wall? Mr. Wrong, was it? Right. It appears you're not fully grasp of your position here. I ask again, who are you? Um, uh-huh. A lawyer. No, my feeble friend. A mere lawyer. Worth nothing. Zilch. Zippo. Nada. Just like that sorry excuse for, a t for an attorney grody burger. What? Ugh. 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 He... he punched me! How rude, sir! Alright, you know what? Kid gloves are coming off. I challenge you to a duel, sir. It's me slapping his face with my glove. I'm totally wearing. Well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do? Eh? Charge me with assault. Charge away? I welcome it, for it is you who will be found guilty. What? Heed my exposition. The police, the courts, they all do my bidding. So you say. I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your compensation. You came here from Grody Burgers, I presume. Mr. Grossbergs. Yes. Then you must ask him, why is it that this painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps he will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit. Go now, skedaddle. There is nothing more to discuss. What a douche. A douchey fruitcake you are, sir. Gross bug! God, I've missed your moustache. <laughs> huh? I don't think he's noticed me standing here. Maybe I should clear my throat? Uh, <coughs> I'm jumping hold of that. What's wrong? You look so pensive. Like an old man at the end of his days. <laughs> I must see all yes. <laughs> I was just thinking about this whole mess. <laughs> Something's really bothering him. That much is clear. Mm -mm. Am I presenting you my attorney's badge yet? Sorry, my boy. I don't think I can help you with that. <laughs> There's my badge. You've got. I can see it on you, sir. You've got a badge just like mine! It's on your, like, lapel, or napel, or majapel. I don't know. Can't remember. So, you came to see the trial? <laughs> yes, yes, I did. Something was bothering me all last night, you see. I couldn't get a wink of sleep. <laughs> really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just... <laughs> my sister, that poor girl. <laughs> My boy, I hold my thanks truly. <laughs> I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly for the girl. <laughs> yeah, well, screw you, mate, for your refusal. 
I asked before, but why did you refuse her request for defense? I think I have a right to know. Right, Mr. Wright. No, no, I'm sorry. It's just, I need more time to think about it, my boy. He does seem troubled about something. I'm starting to have a feeling I know what it is. Mr. White. So, I played... played. And on that note, you know what, I think we're gonna end this episode a little early, because I feel like if I go on for the half an hour this time, might have a bit of a short episode next time, like ten minutes long. Um, and I don't want that, no one wants that. I'll see you guys next time, I know, Whew, cliffhanger. Yeah, if anyone's actually watching this. Uh, yeah, I'll see you, <laughs> see you tomorrow, guys.